All right. Very excited to welcome in sponsor invite Lauren Walsh. Lauren, just how excited are you to be here at the Dana Open? Yeah, so excited. Um, very grateful that I got the opportunity to play. Um, you know, thankful for my coach for nominating me for the spot after uh, we won the national championship. So, yeah, very excited. The last time we saw you on the LPGA Tour was at the 2021 AIG uh, Women's Open. Just what do you remember about that event? Uh, yeah, that was so special. You know, um, being the Open and, you know, being from Ireland, it was it was exciting to get to get to play like a such a big pro event on the on the Lynx golf course. Um, I had my sister caddying for me that week. I had a lot of support out, so she's back on the bag this week. So um, yeah, some good memories from that. Um, and yeah, we're excited to do it again this week. Leads right into my next question. How how awesome is it to have someone so close to you on your bag? And just does that add another level of comfortability? Kind of ease the tension a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Um, she's you know my number one supporter here. Um, she's knows my game better than anybody in the world so um to have her here is great um you know she makes me feel very comfortable on the golf course um and yeah she's great uh what have been your impressions so far of highland meadows yeah it, it's great um the greens are small which is probably a bit, little bit more like home than uh what i typically see over here in the state so um yeah that, that part of it feels very comfortable the greens have been good so uh yeah i like the golf course so uh how do you think this course best suits your game you know, there's a couple, there's a couple maybe uh, longer irons in there that um, you know my iron plays quite good, so um, that's good. And as I said, the greens are good, and um, I like my, where my putting is at right now. So, um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what do you think you'll be able to take away from your collegiate career and kind of and bring to this event, and you know, hopefully going forward? Yeah, um, I've been very fortunate. You know, at Wake Forest, we played a lot, a lot of the biggest, you know, collegiate events um, throughout the year, so. I've played against a lot of good players on a lot of good golf courses. Um, you know, even a lot of the like the East Lake Cup, the Nationals, uh, NCAA's, Derry Soccer. You know, they were all broadcast on TV. So you know, getting that experience from college is is huge and um, is something that I'm able to draw on. You know, coming at here this week. One last one for me. We got to talk to your teammate Rachel Keane earlier at Meyer. Have you gotten to talk with her at all about what her experience was like there? Swap stories. Uh, you know, anything like that. Yeah, I was actually just on the phone to her this morning. Um, so yeah, she's great. Um, she had a great week in the mire, and um, you know, um, we're always back and forth, and, and you know, talking about our games and, and the golf course and everything else. So um, yeah, she's excited for me as well this week. And um, yeah, awesome. Any questions? Yeah. Hi, Nicole Weaving, BCSN. Um, starting out, how did uh, the playing recently in the Arnold Palmer Cup just help as kind of almost a tune-up for this as well? Yeah, um, the Arnold Palmer Cup is always one of my favorite events. Um, you know, his legacy is so special and, you know, just being able to be associated with something like that and, and to be a part of that is so cool. Um, you know, just, you know, hearing all the stories about him and, you know, the advice he gave people, um, you know, kind of settling into careers like this is, it was really cool and um, competing as well was great. You know, you have the best. 24 collegiate golfers in, um, of the year there. So um, yeah, I got some good competition at Laurel Valley and um, yeah, that set me up nicely for this week. How did that pressure maybe, or maybe it didn't feel like pressure to you of that last hole from that NCAA tournament, win, uh, that NCAA championship win, kind of prepare you for what pressures may lie ahead here at the Dana Open? Yeah, um, you know, I knew my entire team, the entire Wake Forest, everything was, was uh, leaning on that putt to, put to drop. So. Um, yeah, it's you know I've I've played in a lot of like high level tournaments the last couple of years and I think all of that leads or it gives me great experience coming into this and you know um, it makes me feel very comfortable out here in, in this kind of pro setting so um, yeah all that pressure and all those all those experiences have, have built up to this so and apologies if this question was already asked but when did you kind of realize that going pro was a goal and an attainable goal at that for yourself. Yeah, it's something that like I, I considered before I started college, and then I guess my freshman year, um, you know, I got off to a great start that, that my freshman fall, um, and realized yeah, this is something I could see myself doing like full time. So, um, I guess just throughout my entire college career, it's it's something that I decided that was was going to be my goal, and as you said, it's it's attainable right now. So, um, yeah, just since college. Did you have any other? No. Anyone else? Cool. Awesome. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you.